we've got a man, Kim Hannon, who preyed on these five people. These five people, they trusted him. Every single one of those witnesses who testified in this case said they trusted this man. He was their investment advisor. They were his clients, and they trusted him. And he knew that they trusted him. He preyed on that trust. It was no accident that starting in November of 2014 that he, that he solicited them for their money. Almost all of those people you heard from, they were newly wealthy. What we heard from Jim Lupica and also Ms. Hitzman is that an investment advisor owes the highest of duties to their clients. Put them first. No self-dealing. They owe a duty to inform their clients of all of the material information and we know beyond, beyond any doubt, just a reasonable doubt, that that never happened here. It's important to understand what his income is because if the state is making the argument he was spending money that was not his, well, first off, you have to know what money was his. How much money did he have? Now, the state's accountant did look at some of the records here and did establish some money that he was giving in, but he did make a big mistake there as well. He missed a check for $144,000. You know, that's not nitpicking to, to point that out. It's not a $100 check or a $50 check. It's $144,000. What was his purpose? What did he know? And I think it's clear when you look at his actions that Kim was driven to succeed. He was striving to find a way to make this business work. He was striving to find a way to supply himself with also to make payments to his 